uh, Instagram at Junior Balls DGE, uh, Twitter at Junior Balls DGE, um, Snapchat at Junior Balls DGE, and um, Facebook at Junior Balls DGE. Everything at Junior Balls DGE. At me, follow me. I follow back. Ah, uh, shit it right there. Tell me up, bro. Shit, you know what it is. Oh, OG, what up? Just ran off on that nigga just then. They ain't gonna do shit about it. It's your boy Junior Ball checking in. Fucking with Josh Shot that, man. Y'all make sure y'all go fuck with him ASAP, man. Straight out of red credit, dog. Hands on bed, this I read. I so red, need Vizine. I'm fresh to death, no hygiene. Try to crawl me, get Kyrie. Getting K like my birthday is every day. Thought the nights of Batista is on the way. How you been since you been out, man? Man, life is good. God is good. You know what I'm saying? I always keep him first. And you know what I'm saying? Just keep trying to move forward on a straight path. That's it. I ain't got nothing going on. Nothing but music and money. That's it. Family. What do you have coming up next? Uh, actually, Josh, I'm working on two projects right now at the same time. I still had that going back to uh, Cali project, which, which I'm probably going to end up putting out like it's a summertime type of feel. So I'll probably put that on hold for a moment. Or it might come out consecutively, but at the moment I'm working on two tapes at one time, Junior Ball Batista and A Thousand Nights at the moment. One produced by Carlton, executive produced by Carlton Banks, one executive produced by uh, Bow, Bow Fam, Mixology Studios. So you still been working with the same producers that you started with, I see. Yeah, I still work with the same producers I started with, but I also fuck with some other dudes. I got uh, Twin Beats, shout out to them. Uh, I got some Zay, Zay Tolan fucking me real hard, shout out to him. Um, a little, little, another little young dude up and coming swing with that cat. Like, I basically really just give a lot of people a chance. I don't mind. Like, I, li I like good music. As long as you got a quality sound, I'm not going to put myself in a box. You know what I'm saying? To, um, to just put myself in a box as far as the music goes. It don't matter. As long as it sounds good, it's quality music. I can really work with pretty much anybody. How hard was the Dope loss for you? Dope loss was extremely hard for me. You know what I'm saying? I actually cried about that. You know what I'm saying? Just being on some real shit. Like, Thugs cry too, nigga. That's good. Yeah. They don't make you no goddamn bitch ass nigga because you cry. Like, I'm, I was a good dude, was a good person. He had a good, despite the music, fuck all that. You know what I'm saying? He was a good dude and he didn't deserve that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was a tough loss for everybody. I right. know we was right. in Birmingham and we heard about it. We that cried about hurt. it too. Yeah, it hurt that shit it. Hurt, man. Um, do y'all still have some unreleased songs that's never been out? To my men, though. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I probably got a few, a few songs in the vault. You know what I'm saying? It's like I just don't want to put them out wrong. I want to get the full potential out of it. So that's probably that's another reason why they just ain't out like that yet. Um, since you've been out, who you been working with, uh, artist wise? Artist wise, since I've been out, uh, I work with uh Super Nod. Shout out to him. Well, Band OG, Rado Red, uh, J Marsh, um, Ray Vix, uh, OJ the Jews Man. Got some shit on the way with him. Uh, goddamn, uh, you know, I still fuck with Young Dolph pretty hard, uh, uh, bigger, bigger ranking, you know, he gonna, that's, a, that's the big homie, he always gonna goddamn fuck with me anyway. Zay told, like, artist-wise, but yeah, but as far as just artists, the people I just named, um, there's a couple more people that I, I got some shit coming up with, Pear Boy, CBM, shout out to him, um, really not as much as I want to have wanted to because I'm kind of limited. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I just, I'm just getting out, so just like I'm really just focused on getting my own shit together first. Then I'm gonna jump with everybody else later on. I'm just right. trying to focus on getting my shit together because I'm, you know, I'm still. You gotta hit the street back. Yeah, the streets gotta, yeah, back strong since you fresh back, back out. Back strong because I'm fresh back out. It's like I'm two and a half years behind, so like I'm just catching up. Everybody doing good in Montgomery. Like like I said, we underrated. There's more talent here than. Then um then people really notice, you know what I'm saying? Like the whole Alabama, I ain't gonna just say Montgomery. But Montgomery is because like I just feel like we just get overlooked a lot. Um, you say you just got out while you was in jail, was you writing? Yeah, absolutely. I was doing a lot of writing. That's really like writing and goddamn just trying to get focused so I can come back to the street and goddamn try to find a way to feed my family. That's really what all like business plans and things of that nature. That's really all only thing a nigga could do. To try to plan in there while you on you while you behind the wall like ain't it's really it's, you really limited the things that you can do. Mm -hmm. What do you plan on doing for the state of Alabama? 
for the for the state of Alabama. You know what I'm saying? I really just want to put the state on put put the state on the map for real. You know what I'm saying? E, we already on the map, but I want to add to that. You know what I'm saying? And just show the people that this ain't just no country ass. It, and show show enough Montgomery ain't no biscuit town like Doe said. Like showing we niggas ain't on no country shit. Like niggas really got talent down here. And niggas gonna get down. And then as far as Alabama go, you know, I want to just help my city out. As far as help the youth. Help the community, just do different shit that's in a positive aspect, you know what I'm saying? Just instead of, and then really actually do that shit and mean what I say, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm really about that life, like as far as, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn, going to Salvation Army, dumping off trucks full of clothes, going to the going to the shelter, helping feed the needy, things of that nature, and really just want to be active in that shit. And it really don't even take me just putting it all on video as long as I know in my own heart that I've done it. That's that's all that really matters. Right. Right. And that's what people that what people don't have to see. That's what people don't have to see, because I ain't doing it for no life. I'm doing it because, you know what I'm saying, from the kindness of my heart and then, you know what I'm saying, God bless you for things like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause when you give, you get back. Absolutely. And then when you give, you give back and then they come back times ten and right. you do it again and they gonna come back times a hundred and yeah. so on and so forth. That's some real right. shit right there. Right. You were born in New York, do you Yeah, I was born in New York. Do you uh do you plan on working with any up New York artists? Absolutely, I plan on working some New York with some in New York In the further artists. future, in the future, uh, God's willing. When I when I when I'm allowed to go up there, I got I got I got some good dudes up there that fuck with me. I'm probably gonna do some beats with the heat making niggas up there and shit. I got some people in New York that I plan on reaching out to. I can't really speak on the jet till I get it in concrete, mm -hmm. but I got some good dudes up there that I'ma fuck with. I already got some good shit going on with the music. You know what I'm saying? Uh. You say you got the two mixtapes coming out. What are you gonna drop them on? Uh, all like platforms. Sites? All platforms. Live mixtape probably gonna get the exclusive. Spin Rilla, Dat Piff, uh, my mixtapes. Uh, all they, you know, all play, I'm dropping it on all play, iTunes. It's gonna be on everything. Like I said, Julian Ball Batista with Bow, Thousand Nights with Carlton Banks, executive mm -hmm. produced. I'm not saying no other producers ain't gonna be on there. But they executive producing. That's mean they overseeing the whole tape as far as, you know what I'm saying, just making sure everything what it's supposed to be, et cetera, et cetera. Executive producer. I'm not saying it's not going to be another producers on there because there will be. I think that's about it, my dog. Like Anything it. else you need to say for the world to oh, know? Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Dope B. Long Little Little D. O T. You know what I'm saying? God bless the dead. Free my people, man. Free the whole hood, man. Ain't no double dust When I say I got them twin fathers That's a double clutch Two fitted around drums hanging